Guys, I'm excited for a couple of reasons today. We finally have a chance to push some snow. It's about half as much as I said was gonna come down, but hey, <laughs> at least it's something. It's, it's something we can push. We need to clear it off. And also we get our first chance to try out our little uh, our spray coating test there, our non-stick test. We have the PAM, we've got the fluid film, a couple of other ice and snow repellent products that we sprayed on the inside of the snow pusher. Put some other chute spray of some kind. We'll show you what it is inside the snow blower chute there as well. But I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to make a little bit of a hill on the top here of the corner for the kids to have a little more oomph as they're going sledding down the hill too, but let's get started. As always, I wanna let you know we are proud to be sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you're feeling a little tippy side to side, these tractors are long and narrow. Wheel spacers can make a big difference. Make sure you check out Bora.
guys, a lot to discuss today, a lot going on. This is the first plow push blow of the year. <laughs> so kind of getting my feet underneath me again. The main takeaway that I would that I would come up with is minimize driving over your snow. It makes a huge difference, you know, and typically, well, it's it's always different when you're filming, right? So we try to do things in a certain sequence that maybe makes sense for, for video, but it's not necessarily how I would do it if I just came out to plow. So we'd kind of driven all over this top part here, back and forth, and uh, my wife had actually uh, pulled out uh, as well with the vehicle. So we had packed down snow all over this main apron here and then a little bit down the main uh, drive as well. But you can see when we did next to the garage, how big of a difference that made there in an area that we hadn't driven over at all. You know, it just scrapes a lot better, a lot cleaner that way. So that's the biggest thing that I would take away. And I wanna talk about the performance of these poly or these UHMW surfaces here on the main edge for the, the back drag and the main pusher as well as the skid runners. And these are working just like they should. You know, they're very protective of the concrete surfaces. You know, we've got a flat area up here and then it slopes and it's, it's kind of tilted this way and it slopes down too. So it's all these compound edges and then you get down to the bottom and it flattens back out again. It's just super goofy. And so when you can have that full complete protection, I'm not concerned about it chipping and catching corners and, and breaking things off like a steel edge or steel runners might do. This gives you really good protection and still lets you scrape down a lot better than rubber would. Now, if we talk about first impressions of all the different sprays that we've applied on here, I don't really see any difference between any of them. In this middle strip, there was absolutely nothing. I know we had fluid film over here. I remember Pam was right here. But I don't know if they've com come completely off. Well, I can see the fluid film still on here. But I don't know how long they last. At least with this type of snow, it didn't make much of a difference. Now, I will say in the snowblower chute, there's very little snow buildup. We don't have a really a, a control uh, to measure it against, but we had sprayed this entire chute all the way down inside in the auger area as well. And I will say it flew really well. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I did adjust the deflector angle between just doing along the road and then doing the neighbor's driveway. When this was pitched down, so it was shooting a more direct shot, it didn't go very far. However, the trade-off was that it didn't go flying all over me when it got caught in the wind. When we had it adjusted up, just like you see now, it really shot out there, probably double the distance, maybe even further than that. However, when it caught the wind, I mean, it completely covered me in snow. Now, I will say one of the handiest things, and I'm glad I invested in it, is the electric rotation. So you can get a hydraulic rotation, of course, if you have the extra hydraulics on the back side of your tractor. But if you don't, well, you can get something like this. And so just right from the operator seat, you can adjust that chute. You might be able to see that now, huh? Just move it one way or the other right from up here. It doesn't get much handier than that. Now, depending on your situation, and we'll use the neighbor's drive as an example, we had to back up and drive over that snow in order to start blowing it and clearing it out. And in that kind of a scenario, it didn't seem like it was packing down a whole lot of snow. And maybe that's just because it was just freshly driven over. And so we were able to scrape right through it and blow it and get it out of there. But that's a common technique that's used. If you watch a lot of the YouTube snow blowing videos, you'll see a lot of them up in Canada as well. These commercial outfits, uh, Nick's got a snow blowing uh, removal service up there, commercial with big old tractors. They're all pull type snow blowers. So this is just a mini version of that. And so a lot of you guys were clamoring to get some video or some some results of a pull type snow blower or an inverted blower like what you see here on a small tractor. This is a subcompact, a 1025R, 18 PTO horsepower back here, and you can see it handled it really well. I tried to show you where we piled up all the snow that we pushed at the end of the drive and then drove over it. So you can see how it's driving over. That was at least a foot deep snow and then still just tackling it and blowing it out into the yard. It really handled it well. The clearance wasn't an issue. I was creeping along. I was fully under control. So first impressions are it worked really well. Now if we talk about traction, we're going to talk about these R4 tires. We're going to talk about the tire grooving that we did. We added wheel weights on. We did some tire grooving on the front tires too, but this is a slippery driveway. And in fact, um, if we can show it, when my, wife, when my wife was backing out earlier, 
she was slipping and sliding on this driveway. This driveway gets super, super slick. And this had kind of turned from a rain to a freezing rain to a snow. And so that base layer that was underneath here was very, very slippery. But I didn't have any traction issues today. You know, we do have a lot of weight on the backside as well with the snowblower, which helps. But between the um, extra 140 pounds on the wheel weights, the groove tires, I, I don't like these R4 tires and a lot of you guys don't like them either. So I've been stuck actually just right off the side of the driveway here in the winter time with these tires on there. So I had to do something about it. This tire grooving certainly didn't hurt. It's hard for me to say how much it helps. I can't quantify that amount, but I will say I'm happy I did it. Now I gotta say there is one thing that I really wish I had, which is a heated cab. <laughs> I'm a little chilly and it would have been nice to at least have the seat heater, but our convenience outlet still isn't working. I gotta get that fixed and maybe I can get the seat heater on and at least take the chill off just a little bit. But the sun is out, so things are feeling good. The ice is melting off the driveway. I got a plowing. I always love plowing, so things are going good. So in case you didn't know, we sell tractor attachments and we ship them all over the country. So the snow pusher that you see, the snow blower, the wheel wings, we can find the tire groover on Amazon. We have a link to that too. All sorts of stuff for your tractor. We can help you out. Make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. And if you enjoyed today's video, you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.